homemade swamp cooler running in our sprinter van here. You can run it off grid and uh, yeah, just 12 volt fan, 12 volt pumps, so it can use our solar panels and stuff. 75 in our seating area, which is bearable. Uh, 62 right by it when it's 89 degrees outside. This is the swamp cooler taken out of the window and with the fan removed. Here's the fan. Endless breeze is what we ended up using. 12 volt fan. Uh, as you can see, we used foam for the uh, body of it um, and then just some swamp cooler padding. Uh, we have tubing here with holes drilled in it. goes down into a spackle tray from Home Depot. All just kind of screwed in there with drywall screws. These straps hold the, uh, uh, the fan in place. And then we have a 12 volt pump uh, down there in the bottom of the spackle tray. Tube comes up from the pump, up around. Holes are drilled in it to wet the pad fan pulls the air through from the outside and then you have another opening like your vent or a window or door open to uh, let the air flow through. This is the part you would see on the outside of the van and we have these vents here uh, so they catch any water that might spray out and kind of direct it back towards the pad and back into the spackle tray. We got tired of constantly refilling the spackle tray reservoir, so we decided to use a bucket system and a second got pump. A bucket with pump down there that's uh, feeding the, the swamp cooler just into the tray there. Got a little overflow. Here is the uh, outlet for the overflow that goes into the bucket. And then I just put the other tube into there to fill it from the bucket. And then, like I said, this just mounts right in there and is held in place with the straps.